I'm Dr. Ophelia Tordesillas. I'm a pediatrician. I graduated from the USD College of Medicine in 1974, had my board exams in 1975, had my internship and pediatric residency training program at UPPGH, and in 1978, I started my private medical practice. So go figure it out. I've been in practice for the past 40 years. And I, must, I am already actually semi-retired. So deciding to join Atomy has not been easy for me. Atomy, as well as its products, as far as I was concerned, were totally unheard of. And as a doctor responsible for promoting the best of health for my patients, I need to be extra careful at all times. My patients count on me, and so I really cannot afford to commit mistakes. And in medical practice, everything is all about evidence-based medicine, meaning when we make the choice as to which treatment and appropriate and correct and effective should be, be given to a patient, we have to make a choice of medicines backed up by a strong body of evidence. So these are my apprehensions when I first struggling through the decision of whether to join Atomy or not. It was my sister based in New York who really invited me to join this, and she really did try to convince me. I was in New York then, and I had the chance to attend one of their center meetings. They have their Skyland Center there, and as fate would have it eventually, when I had the opportunity to have my own center also, I named it Golden Horizon. Maybe I took the cue from the Skyland Center. So my sister, uh, really tried to convince me and shared with me the wealth of uh, remarkable experiences and benefits she got from using the products. So going back home or coming back home, I tasked myself to really educate me about Atomy. I watched videos, I reviewed relevant materials, and soon enough, I tried the products to validate the testimony. And it was a pleasant surprise as my personal experience really was really beyond amazing. <laughs> yeah, really, really beyond amazing. And soon enough, I also started to accumulate my own wealth of remarkable experiences as I watched in amazement how my patients and all the members of our center have benefited from it too. So that's how I decided to really be involved with Atomy. What makes it even more interesting is that the Atomy products are the very, very products we need and use on a daily basis. Nothing really brand new. These are the very products we've been using all our lives. From the moment you wake up until you sleep at night, easily you can count 20 to 30 products that you need every day that are found in the Atomy shopping mall. So this really makes the business concept a lot more easy. You have products ranging from health, supplements, to food items, household items, personal care, and beauty products. And joining Atomy is like joining an exclusive consumer club, where as a member, you really get to enjoy discounted prices. And right now, the shopping mall is not really that expensive yet. But I guess patience is the name of the game. And soon enough, we will be having more and more products, and it's going to make the game even more exciting. The business concept of Atomy is really quite unique and sets it apart from other companies. They have what they call as the mastige, which is a word coined from, mastige coined from two words, mass and prestige. All Atomy products have to first pass the prestige test because our own CEO is really very exacting and demanding when it comes to quality. He really has to have the assurances that all the products are of really the highest possible quality. And once he gets that assurance, then and only then will he start computing for how the prices or the products should be priced. And in the process, eliminating all the unnecessary bubbles that come between the manufacture of the products and the actual selling. 
Ang sabi ng ating CEO, hindi dapat maging mahal ang produkto dahil number one, remember that the product, especially the health supplements, product ng Kairian, funded by taxpayers' money, search and development expenses, I believe, did not really get factored in in the final computation ng product. And also, the raw materials, the ingredients that are used for the manufacture of the products are abundantly available in Korea. Halaman, damo, ugat, abundantly available, which really makes it really affordable. And there are no adver advertisements, there are no agents that has, have to be kept in the salary payroll. There are no expensive uh, rent spaces that need to be rented out. Products have to be ordered online. So all those factors taken into consideration really explain why the products for the kind of quality that they're offering us are really at very, very reasonable levels. So ang gusto ng ating CEO, Bibilhin mo yung produkto kasi na-appreciate mo yung quality. At kaya mong bilhin uli kasi affordable pala talaga. Ayaw niya na kaya mo bibilhin kasi mura only to realize na it is cheap for a reason. Wala palang quality, kaya mura. Kaya ayaw mo nang bilhin uli. So it has to be a combination of good quality at very reasonable prices. Our cutting-edge technology is a combination of the four advanced technologies that assure us of excellent products. High purification technology, which delivers a precise formula of the purest ingredients, from biotechnology to patented technology to nanocapsule technology, really promise us nothing but the best. For this afternoon, uh, the featured products will be actually Hemohim and Omega-3, not toothpaste for this afternoon. <laughs> so what is Hemohim? Hemohim is a natural functional health supplement with specific immune function. And what does Hemohim stand for? Hemo is short for hemoglobin, X for hematopoiesis, or the process of manufacturing blood, I for immune or immunity, M for modulation, and him also in Korean means strength. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, what is immunity? Immunity ref refers to the capacity or the ability of our body to recognize and destroy pathogens. So, what are pathogens? Ito yung mga bac bacteria, viruses, fungi, and all those that can make you sick, that can harm our body. So immunity really is the ability to protect our bodies from harm, the ability to prevent our bodies from getting sick. So why take him with him? All of us need a very strong and healthy immune system. I don't know how many of you who are now present have heard me during the last Success Academy when I made mention that all of us we are made up of trillions of cells, individually all of us, made up of trillions of cells. And of the trillions of cells, only 10% are human, 90% are bacteria. So we're only 10% human, 90% bacteria. And at any given time, there is that symbiotic relationship between the good and the bad. Meron silang ecosystem. But there has to be that balance of 80-20, good, 20% lang dapat ang bad. Ganon. So you can just imagine how our immune system is put to task. Kasi pang within lang, ang dami na yung kalaban eh. Ang dami ng bacteria. So yung pang nasa labas, mas ladong abundant ang bacteria. So yung ating immune system really works non-stop. So we really have to support our system, our immune system, for it to be healthy. So, what can harm our immune system? Environmental pollutants, like the exhaust fumes coming from all those thousands of vehicles around us, ultraviolet rays, alcohol, smoking, eating too much protein, eating too much sugar, fatty foods, pesticides in your fruits and vegetables, stress also. So collectively, or, if I may add, anything with preservatives, 
instant food. Lahat ng yan, collectively, we call them the free radicals. And if the free radicals are left unchecked, they will lead to oxidative stress or damage of our body. At pag nagkaroon tayo ng oxidative stress, yan ang nagiging sanhi ng premature aging, premature degeneration of our body, not only from the outside but also from within, Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer, those are just examples. So siguro kayo din, madalas maririnig nyo, bakit ang bata pa noon may rayuma na? Bakit ang bata pa inatake na sa puso? Bakit ang bata pa na-diagnose na na may diabetes? Ganun. So, courtesy of oxidative stress, courtesy of a very unhealthy lifestyle, and stress is really the number one cause of cancer nowadays. So, you really have to be careful. So, how can Himuhim help us? Himuhim can really help promote the recovery of our body against oxidative stress. If oxidative stress can lead to premature aging, bata pa, may wrinkles na, may rayuma na, therefore, Himuhim can slow down the aging process. Yes. It's, it can slow down the degenerative uh, changes that may occur in your body. It has also been found out that Himuhim can activate our immune cells. Immune cells, the like of your white blood cells, lymphocytes, the natural killer cells, the cytokines, which all play a significant role also, not just in fighting infections, but is also in fighting cancer. So, yun ang kahalagahan. And hematopoiesis, as I mentioned earlier, this is the process of manufacturing blood. You can see in the slide, before and after taking hemohim, you see a proliferation of the RBC population on your right as influenced by Himohim because it has also been found out that Himohim can activate your bone marrow to produce more blood cells and to increase the number of hemoglobin. It can also help boost stem cells, stem cells which are very crucial to rejuvenation, repair, and anti-aging. Siguro marami kayong naririnig dyan na nagpa-stem cell para mas mukhang bata. Easily, that's 50,000 pesos per procedure. Sorry, Andrew, you <laughs> So anyway, you don't, have to go through the you don't have to go through that process. You don't have to spend the 50,000 pesos. Himuhim will be enough <laughs> to, to, yeah, to boost those stem cells to rejuvenate you. And then white blood cells. White blood cells are the cells of our immune system. They are very, very important because they are at the front line of our battle against infections. When our body gets assaulted by microorganisms, bacteria manyan, or viruses, the WBCs are really at the front line. Front line. Para siyang si Pac-Man that eats everything and anything that gets in the way until they explode at maging pass. Diba? Kaya nga pag minsan, pag pa urinalysis ka, WBC or pass cells. Mga ganon. So, a patient with low white blood cell count is at great risk of acquiring infections. In the same manner, a cancer patient undergoing chemotherapy, the oncologist really makes sure to monitor the WBC. Because in chemo, you not only kill the cancer cells, but also, yeah, including the WBC. And once the W, the white blood cell count really goes, really, really goes down, plunges down, the oncologist is forced to stop the chemo or else he'll be literally killing the patient. So, as shown in this slide, you compare him with him with all the other immuno-enhancers, and you see him with him, how really superior it is compared to the other immuno-enhancers. Let me share with you the story of my patient. He's 12 years old. He came to me with his mom, of course, and complains more than a year ng recurrent ang kanyang nose bleeding, and konting magsalita, may shortness of breath. 
That was April 24, 2017. I requested for a blood count. The reason why meron siyang shortness of breath, kasi anemic talaga siya. Look at his hemoglobin. It's only 9.2. Normal should be at 14 and up. The hematocrit, which is also the same as your hemoglobin, uh, 28 yung kanyang hematocrit as against a normal of 42 and up. The WBC was dangerously low, and that's, and that's what really scared me. It was only at 3,400. Normal should be 5,000 to 10,000. The platelet count explains the more than a year recurrent nose bleeding. It's norm, not doing just a low normal. The bracket should be 150 to 450. He was only at 164. Kaya siya nagno nose bleeding. So I was tempted to refer him to the hematologist right then and there. But then I said, I would like to challenge him with him and see if it will work for you. Anyway, you'd been through this for more than a year. What's another two weeks of trying to observe and monitor? So I placed him on him with him, two sachets a day, with instructions to come back after two weeks. But he came back more than a month, barely more than a month. And when he came back, three weeks na siyang walang nose bleeding, at kahit anong takbo niya, hindi siya hinihingal. Mm. And looking closely, at his repeat blood count, May 29, the hemoglobin from 9 rose up to 13.9. And I said earlier, the normal is 14. So it's really at 14 na rin, ganun. The hematocrit from 28 rose to 42. The RBC count, well, it was not uh, indicated earlier. But the WBC from 3.4 rose up to 7,900. And the platelet count, unbelievable, 370. The reason why hindi na siya nagbi-bleed, ganon. When I interviewed the mother and son, most recently when JP came over to our center, they invited the mom and dad. That was the only time I realized, sabi nung mom, actually, doctora, 12 days after pa lang, pinalipit si BC ko na. 12 days after pa lang ng himu him, talagang lahat daw tumaas na. Sabi ko, hindi mo pinakita sa akin yon. But nevertheless, it really underscores the point na it's not hemoglobin, himu him. It's not hemoglobin, it's not himu him for nothing. Di ba sabi ko nga kanina, it can help increase the number of hemoglobin. So you can see very clearly in this example, also the WBC and even the platelets. So that has spared that child from too much physical and financial ordeal had I referred him outright to a hematologist. Nothing wrong with doing that, but I'm just so, ha so happy that right now, meron na akong ibang option. Kasi before I was introduced to this, wala akong option eh. It would have been easily dismissing the patient, sige, so padala kita sa hematologist. Ngayon, ang dami ko ng options, and it's really making me a lot more fulfilled in my medical practice. Really... <laughs> So that was the comparison side by side. So him or him is perfect for everybody, from athletes to housewives to workers to students to elders. We all need physical strength, especially so for the aging population, because the aging population is more susceptible to a declining immune system. Okay, omega-3 this time. You must be aware by now, I mentioned it during the last Success Academy, that the two leading causes of death worldwide are heart attack and stroke. And largely contributory to this is the combination of these two things, the aging and the modern lifestyle. So with aging comes the degeneration also, ng mga blood vessels natin, so vein aging, etc. A modern lifestyle characterized by too much fat, too much protein in our diet, a sedentary, stressful lifestyle, lack of exercise, meat-centered eating habits where we eat mostly meat with saturated fat, and it's the saturated fat that contributes to the heart diseases. 
So what our body needs more, most, is the unsaturated fat, not the saturated fat. We still need saturated fat, pero konti lang. Pero yung unsaturated, yun talaga what our body needs. And unfortunately, our bodies are not capable of manufacturing unsaturated fat. So we really have to rely on external sources, whether it be through food or health supplements. Food like salmon, mackerel, sardines, avocado, walnuts, mga ganon. Health supplements like our Alaska Omega-3. And yes, and I mentioned earlier that one good thing our, about our omega-3 preparation is it's a three-in-one preparation. You have already your omega-3, you have your vitamin E, and you have your turmeric, all in one. And most recently, there was this patient who came to my clinic. I mentioned earlier that I'm a pediatrician. I also mentioned then that in our locality where I, where I come from, semi-urban, semi-rural, I am for all intents and purposes a family physician, meaning they bring all the members of the family, whether be it be lola, lolo, buntis or hindi, bata, bagong panganak or what. So I get all sorts of patients, but majority pa rin yung pediatric patients. So ito yung dumating sa, uh, sa clinic. So 80 plus years old na siya, uh, retired, came from Spain after having stayed in Spain for quite a long while. And anyway, towards the end of the interview, I recommended that he take omega-3, our Alaska omega-3. Then a few days after, dumating yung anak niya sa amin, sabi niya, ay, nirasatahan mo pala si daddy ng omega-3, ganon ganon and he really feels better now, yun ang sabi niya. Doc, pwede rin akong bumili ng omega-3 sa iyo kasi I've been taking omega-3 Kasi daw, miyembro siya ng isang network marketing company, a very popular network marketing company. And she was so amazed, she was really, ano na, wow, your omega-3 costs only 1,200 pesos for a bottle that contains 180 soft gel capsules. At yun daw, binibili niya sa kumpanya nila, cost her for a bottle of 90, 1,500. So, really, absolute price, nothing can be cheaper. Absolute quality, nothing can be better. Makes us really feel proud. So omega-3 supports a healthy heart. How does this, how does omega-3 accomplish this? Omega-3 kasi, it is capable of reducing or improving the risk factors that contribute to heart disease. So what are these risk factors? Kung ikaw ay hypertensive, kung ikaw ay diabetic, kung mataas ang cholesterol mo, mataas ang triglyceride mo, those are risk factors that make you a potential candidate for heart attack. And omega-3 has been found that it can help reduce the blood pressure, it can help reduce the triglycerides, and it can even help increase your good cholesterol. It has also been found out to reduce the stickiness of our blood platelets. Yung ating kasing blood platelets, pag nag-clump or stick together yan, they can form a blood clot na pwedeng pagsimulan ng atake sa puso. Ang atake kasi, it happens when the blood vessel na nagsusupply ng sa, sa lahat, when a clot suddenly obstructs the flow of blood at doon na apektuhan yung coronary arteries, yun ang dahilan ng heart attack. So when you really make the platelets less sticky, then that can help reduce the risk of having heart attack. And also, omega-3 has been found out na kaya niyang ano, yung arteries, makes the arteries uh, smooth and free of damage, so it doesn't form plaque that can harden the arteries. So yun ang reasons why taking regularly your omega-3 can reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. The coronary, yung nagsusupply ng, yun, if this is your heart, yung dalawang blood vessels dito, we call them the coronary arteries. Kaya coronary heart disease. So why choose Atomy Alaska Omega-3? Number one, high quality ingredients. Diba? 
from the deep seas of Alaska, meron tayong pollock fish na pinanggagalingan ng ating omega-3. Where is Alaska? Halos nasa North Pole na yun, di ba? So right then and there, yung initial harvesting and processing, doon na kaagad ginagawa. So under a very hygienic uh, facility of the purest form. And then it's very convenient to take kasi nga, maliit lang, ganun, di ba? And again, this is really an essential functional food because omega-3 really supports and promotes good health. So, yun yung mga kadahilanan. Add to it the fact that meron na siyang turmeric, meron na siyang vitamin E. Vitamin E is a very good antioxidant. And any antioxidant will also help slow down the aging process. So, turmeric, a lot, thousands of researchers has, had been done working on turmeric. And the benefits have been found to be very remarkable also. So, anti-inflammatory, anti-whatever, so many benefits coming from turmeric. And again, uh, the reason why our omega-3 has the best quality and the best price, providing us essential nutrition, is because our company gets them directly from the manufacturer. And unsaturated fat, this is what I mentioned earlier. We actually usually refer to it as PUFA, P-U-F-A, meaning polyunsaturated fatty acids, which we also call as EFA or essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids kasi hindi sila kayang gawin ng ating katawan. So anything na hindi kayang gawin ng ating katawan yun, essential fatty acids. So omega-3 provides unsaturated fat necessary for our body. And from the icy seas of Alaska, what follows is fast and safe and clean transport using an exclusive railroad. And the product ends up in Ohio, USA for its final processing and refinement. Diba? May exclusive railroad pa. <laughs> Ngayon lang ko nakarinig ng <laughs> exclusive railroad. So this is the entire production process, ending up doon sa molecular distillation. Pagdating doon sa molecular distillation, we now end up with much fresher oil, free of fishy odor and fishy taste. I used to take, I really am, have been taking omega-3 since years and years ago. I'm a great believer of the product. Kaya lang yung mga nabibili noon, kahit inumin mo sa umaga at dumighay ka sa gabi, lasa ka pa rin tinapa sa gabi. <laughs> Kasi ganun siya, di ba? Yung kanyang taste and odor. So nagulat ako dito sa omega-3 natin. Wala eh, walang ganun. Hindi siya balansa, hindi siya lasang tinapa. Walang ganun. So nakakatuwa. Mm -mm. So Alaska Omega-3 is recommended for everybody. Kasi everybody needs good health. And as I mentioned earlier, omega-3 really supports and promotes the best of health. So everybody needs omega-3. Particularly if hypertensive ka, matas ang cholesterol mo, ang triglycerides mo, mahilig kang kumain sa fast foods, mahilig kang sa mga saturated fat, hindi ka halos kumakain ng isda, the middle age to the aged, you lack exercise. Ito yung lalo na lalo na kailangan. But as I have said, it's really meant for everybody. Uh, at this point, let me share with you one very interesting case which I'm monitoring now. A 16-year-old girl diagnosed with psoriasis. My apologies as we, can, we can't show yet the pictures. So 16 years old referred to my center. Uh, diagnosed with psoriasis since she was about three months old. It's one of those very rare cases, kasi usually ang psoriasis somehow in older age. Eh. But this baby, three months old pa lang, talagang nagsimula ng magmanifest. And throughout her growing up years, the lesions worsened despite several consultations and treatment. All diagnostic procedures, including biopsy, really, really proved that it was psoriasis. All treatment modalities failed. 
Kung makikita niyo siya, medyo talagang nakakaawa. Stunted ang growth niya. At 16, she, was, she looks like a 7 to 8 year old girl. And I can imagine why. Dahil all throughout her life, never had any restful day or night. Because she itched all over, every single minute, every single second. She itched all over. And it was painful. Meron siyang smelly discharge. And pag titignan niyo siya, alam niyo yung driftwood, yung tuod. Alam niyo yun? O kung hindi niyo alam yung driftwood, yung puno, para siyang walking tree. Kasi yung extremities niya, parang bark ng puno. You touch it, it was like touching the bark of a tree. Ganun siya ka rough. You look at it, it really looks like the bark of a tree. Ganun siya talaga, walang pinag-iba. Ang tawag doon, lichenified psoriasis. Lichenified meaning because of the years of scratching and scratching, lalong kumapal, lang kumapal, lang kumapal. Ganun. So when she was referred to me, sabi ko, sige, kasi lahat naman ng treatment nagawa, wala. And naniniwala ako sa himuhim. Kasi ano ba yung psoriasis? Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. So what is an autoimmune disease? It is when your immune cells mistake your healthy cells for foreign cells and they start to attack your own healthy cells resulting into inflammation. In the case of psoriasis, ang abnormality doon is abnormally excessive production of skin cells. Yung normal na turnover ng skin cells ng mga 28 days, pag may psoriasis in 3 to 5 days, excessively producing skin cells. Kaya yung makikita mo yung lesions nila, makapal, scaly, hindi, hindi siya magandang tingnan talaga. So sabi ko, this has something to do with immune dysfunction. So again, I would like to challenge him with him being the product that it is, that is supposed to modulate. Di ba, him or him. That M is modulate. So, baka sakaling i-correct niya yung immune reaction nitong bata na to. Ganon. So, we placed her on him or him two sachets a day and with instruction to come back every nine days so I could continuously monitor her. And thanks to some of our friends, well-meaning friends, because we support this child as she is really poor. So we provide her with everything that needs to be given para lang gumaling siya. Ganon. So that is our own version of our center CSR, Center Social Responsibility. So nine days after, natuwa ako kasi yung kanyang braso. Kasi dati, pag hinipo mo yung kanyang braso, para talagang puno, matigas, hindi, hindi mo mai Pag pinindot mo, para kang humihipo talaga ng kahoy. Ganon. So when she came back, ginanon ko, uy, parang lumulubog ng konti na yung daliri ko. Oo. And then, then nakita ko yung parang bark ng tree. Meron ng konting parang clearances. <laughs> Meron ng konting spaces na parang hindi na ganon ka, kakapal. Ganon. So at that point, sabi ko, mag-take ka ng omega-3 at saka bibigyan kita ng atomy body cleanser. Ganon. Omega-3 kasi nga, omega-3 has been proven also to be a very good immunomodulator and also a very good anti-inflammatory. So I said, siguro itong tandem ng hemohem tsaka omega-3 will help her even more. Ganon. Unfortunately for her, when she came back again after nine days, hindi daw niya malunok yung omega-3. <laughs> so nang nakikita kong patuloy na nag improve pero kahit pa paano, iniinom yung omega, pero erratic. Kaya lang yung realization that I got from it, na mostly himuhim lang pala yung iniinom niya. So sabi ko, himuhim alone talagang kaya niyang pagalingin yung psoriasis. Kasi now, looking back, it's been one and a half months since, she, since we started her on himuhim and the Atobi body cleanser. And would you believe, all the itchiness, the pain, and the discharge are all gone. Yes. Thing, they had become a thing of the past. Ang sabi nung ina, Dok, kung hindi ko nga gigisingin sa umaga, hindi magising kasi ang sarap lagi ng tulog. Eh dati talagang every so many minutes, gigisingin siya, wake her up, even at night. At one point, sabi nung ina, anak, maawa ka naman sa akin. Mukhang mamamatay na ako kasi hindi ko nakinakaya tong stress niya ng 24 hours, ganon. So nakakawa silang mag -ina. And then, 
pag makita nyo yung like the bark of a tree falling off and for the very first time we're seeing her normal skin underneath mad mad madami na talagang natanggal madami nang natanggal now whenever she comes and visits us nakangiti na siya hindi na siya irritable before masungit eh oh, we, we can really understand why ganon so yun yung aking ano about psoriasis. Although before her, meron din kaming isang naging psoriasis case, but it was less complicated kasi more than 10 years pa lang niya nakuha yon and much older. Pero in less than a month, natanggal ang psoriasis niya na hindi rin gumaling for the past 10 years. Pero itong bata na ito, this is really more complicated and this is really still a work in progress and we keep really our faith that everything will work out for her. Ganon. And we still have the last slide. So, ito, ito na yung last slide kasi bakang babatakin na nila ako bababa. <laughs> so, there are a lot more benefits that can, that omega-3 can give us. So, aside from protecting the heart, it can protect the brain against stroke, combat depression and anxiety, especially in these times when suicidal rates at are their highest. Maybe we really have to keep in mind, diba? Dahil sa depression. Alzheimer's, it can reduce inflammation. Yes, autoimmune disease. Healthy bone joints. Sleep quality, ang dami nang nagpapatunay. Ang sarap ng tulog nila pag naka omega-3. Where is JP? JP can attest to this. Mula doon nang mag omega-3 siya, ang sarap na ng tulog niya. It can save your macula. Macula nasa retinal portion ng mata natin. It's responsible for our central vision. As we grow older, nagde-degenerate yon, and it can lead to, real, to serious blindness kasi it cannot be repaired unlike your cataract. So, omega-3 can help save your macula. And for brain development ng children and infants. So, make sure yung inyong mga kaibigan na mga pregnant and nursing mothers, make sure they take sufficient doses of omega-3. Walang problema pag formula fed kasi fortified yan with the HA EPA. Pero pag breastfed, which really we promote, advocate breastfeeding, but make sure yung ina umiinom ng enough omega-3 for the sake of her child. And then yun, support healthy skin and slow aging. Yun lang po. Thank you.